So what does a $4,500 photo and video editing workstation contain? For starters, we have the processor, and I've chosen an Intel Core i7 6700K. This processor has a 4GHz base clock and a 4.2GHz boost clock, 8MB of L3 cache, it's also a quad core with hyper threading, and it's on the LGA 1151 socket. This processor costs $539. To cool this processor, we've got the Corsair H110i GTX. This is a closed loop liquid cooling kit with a dual 140mm radiator and Corsair Link to support all your fan speeds and all that jazz. This costs $199. For a motherboard we have the Gigabyte Z170X Gaming GT. This motherboard supports the socket LGA1151, is an ATX motherboard and supports all the standard features like DDR4 memory, M.2 and SATA 36 gigabits per second for only $399. For memory, we've gone with Kingston HyperX Fury. We've gone with four 4GB four sticks to give us a total of 16GB of memory. This memory is clocked at 2133MHz and has a cast latency of C14. This memory is also DDR4 and only costs $319. For an SSD, we've gone with a Samsung 950 Pro. We've gone with an M.2 SSD that has 512GB of capacity that has a read speed of 2500 megabytes per second and 1500 megabytes per second write. This drive costs $509. For mass storage, we've gone with two Western Digital Reds. We've gone with their four terabyte drives that spin at 7200 RPM and have 64 megabytes of cache. These drives cost $718 for the pair. For a video card, we've gone with a LeadTech Quadro M4000. This video card has 1664 CUDA cores, 8GB of GDDR5 RAM, 4 display ports, and it's only a single slot thickness. This card also supports 30-bit colour as Quadros do, so it's great for video and photo editing if you have the right screen. And this card costs $1,399. To power this build, we've gone with a Corsair CX750M. This is a 750 watt 80 plus bronze semi-modular power supply that only costs $149. Lastly, to house this build, we've got the Bitphoenix Shadow. This is a mid-tower case that supports USB 3 and you also get a choice on the case between red or blue LEDs. This case only costs $89. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment if you have anything to say about this build, share this video if you think someone else would like it, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.